skin that smoke wagon and see what happens. How's that for a slice of fried gold? Oh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know how this machine worked. It seems to run on some form of electricity. And it was wrong. It was a bad call, Ripley. It was a bad call. Bad call. Right. Some are good for fighting, others for dying. It's Just Two Movies. Welcome back to another episode of It's Just Two Movies. My name, Daniel King, in the studio with me this afternoon. You know him. You love him. You've seen his balls live in concert. I'm talking about Birdman. Wait, what? Yeah. Remember when he used to you'd wear those old oh. gym shorts and let your balls hang out of them? <laughs> <laughs> live at concerts? <laughs> Damn, you could see my balls? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, it's because they were outside of your clothing. <laughs> That's why. Oh, man. A little uh, afternoon delight. It is an afternoon delight. How we doing, Dan? Buddy, I'm doing good. Yeah. I'm doing good. We're we're slinking into our spooky season stuff. Ooh. But as uh, everybody might not know, as we're recording this, it's like, what is it? It's like... It's September. Early September-ish. Something. Yeah. Yeah. Um... But, uh, you know, the, the closing days of summer mm. here in the Midwest, uh, the dog days, if you will. We got the false fall where it cools off a little bit and then it's just fucking 95 <laughs> degrees again the next day. Yeah. Uh, so that's what we're doing. And we wanted to reminisce about the good old times and kind of, uh, you know, highlight some spooky content. So we covered Midsomar. Midsomar. Midsomar, I believe <laughs> is how it's actually pronounced, uh, which is an R-rated 2019 horror mystery film, two-hour, 28-minute runtime, uh, 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb. That seems suspiciously low. Uh, 83% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, it's got a 6 out of 10 on Screen Rant. Well, fuck you, Screen Rant. I know. That's what I'm saying. 70% of Google users, they like this movie. Um, and I did, too. Uh, release date, July 3rd, 2019. Directed by Ari Aster. Screenplay by Ari Aster. Distributed by A24 and Nordisk Films. Uh, box office, $48 million. Damn. And stars uh, the very stinky Florence Pugh. <laughs> <laughs> Will Poulter, Jack Rayner, uh, Isabella Grill, uh, Bjorn Andresen, uh, William Jackson Harper, and Wilhelm Blomgren. You know the budget on this was nine million dollars. It seems like it probably cost. Th- there's some stuff that just gets destroyed in the in the movie. It's like, like nine million dollars does not sound like a lot to make this. It's not really. It sounds like it's, it would almost cost nine million dollars just to fly filmmaking shit over to Sweden. Well, it was actually filmed in Hungary. Oh, so yeah. Little did you know. I didn't. I didn't um, know that. I wonder if a lot of the budget was used to like build the structures and stuff you know what i mean i would assume so yeah because they, they build a structure that they later just fucking burn down um so what would you say this is about you son of a bitch uh this also stars a bunch of other <laughs> swedish people whose names i'm not going to try to pronounce um if if the listener is not familiar with the movie midsommar midsommar what would you say it's about daniel uh florence Briefly. Pugh, florence pu she's real stinky and sad about it <laughs> And then her friends are like, we're going to go to Sweden. And she's like, I guess I could go to Sweden. And then she gets real high while she's there. And fucking weird culty stuff happens. Yeah. Yeah. That's pretty much it. Yeah. Yep. You got it. So what would you say in detail the entire movie's about? <laughs> Just fucking run it down. Um, uh, no, no, so it, we're going we're gonna to spoil the fuck out of this. Yeah. If you haven't seen Midsummer, um, it, it's on HBO. If you have HBO. Yeah, it's yeah. currently on Max, as are a lot of the A24 films, I believe. Give it a watch. Uh, before we get into spoiler territory, I, I want to... This is normally some of the stuff we reserve for the end of talking about it. But before we get into it, um, I, you're not a huge horror guy. And since we're kind of doing some horror content, uh, this is one I kind of floated to you. And you're like, oh, that's on my list, actually. Mm-hmm. Um, how do you feel about this as far as like a horror film? Where's this? It is... I, w- I would say not a conventional horror film. I would agree. Um, I saw the genre folk horror thrown out there. Uh, I could see that, just not folk here. Yeah. Yeah. It, I believe you mentioned a movie, what was it? Um, Chainsaw Massacre? Is that one of the movies oh. you mentioned that it's that you were like, 
it's a movie that it's it's hard to do daytime. It thri- yeah, it's, it's hard a, to do horror horrifying... in the daytime. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre does it really well, and what was the name of that other movie where it's Evil lives evil, here? Uh, no, nope. uh, Evil. Fuck, I don't remember. Uh, it's it's a Spanish movie. Spanish, uh, yeah, horror yeah. It's film. on um, it's on Shutter. It, it's really great. Uh, but that's is one of the disturbing parts about it is everything that is horrific. Most of it takes place during broad daylight. Such uh, like this film is the same. Um, almost almost the entire film is shown during the day oh yeah um, yeah because this is the it's the solstice or whatever where yes. it's supposed to be x amount of days of like you know no no darkness no darkness yeah. right i think there are maybe two scenes where there are <laughs> where there's darkness i like the bit where they're yeah, and we're, we'll get to this progressively but there's a bit where will poulter's high on mushrooms and he's like what time is it yeah and they're like it's 9 p.m and he's like, like wait what what the sun's still the sky's blue <laughs> yeah and they're like it's sweden it's fine he's like that's not fine i don't like that why is it like that so do you want to just kind of run through it or do you want to um because there's not a lot to this like really i mean it is a long movie but i don't i, I have some notes but it's not the it's it's it is weird because the first half of the movie feels really stretched out, but there is fucking heavy shit that happens right let's, at the front of the film. Let's talk about that real quick. Yeah. Let's let's just start with that. Yeah. Um, it's very very heavy. I would say, um, if suicide is something that bothers you, uh, yeah, really think about that before you watch this. Yeah. Film. Or to murder suicide murder, for that suicide. matter. So, Danny and I didn't know this. I just looked at this uh, Danny is Florence Pugh's character yeah, so by the way he's gonna, not referring to me right, I've yeah. not done any I haven't of the done any of this about to say <laughs> uh Danny lives in New York with her boyfriend I don't they, I don't know if they live together but that's where they live with their friends I think they're going to school yeah. uh college and her parents live in I think it was like Minnesota or some shit and her sister lives with her parents yeah and her sister's her sister's bipolar. She's having some. She's having some some mental health problems. Yes, yeah, but she does mention she's bipolar. Yeah. Um, she can't get a hold of her sister. She calls her parents, leaves a message, and man, there's so much fucking foreshadowing. And this film is full of foreshadowing. Oh, dude, if you love some symbolism it's and great. some some good foreshadowing, mm-hmm. buckle up, bucko. So, turns <clears throat> out, uh, her sister. Kills her parents, and then kills herself by yeah. carbon monoxide poisoning. Yeah, just runs the car in the garage, duct tapes a fucking hose to the exhaust, and then just yeah, fucking what a horrific way to go. Ooh man, that was uh that was shocking. Yeah, I did not because like you see in the beginning of the film, her parents sleeping. And I yeah. say sleeping because they're dead. They're dead, but That's you, how you just think they're sleeping. Yeah. It's so fucking, uh, it's just. Yeah, it's unsettling. It's and unsettling. Then, and then yeah. later they make like little flashback images to that kind of equate mm-hmm. to what happened there and equally as fucking horrifying to behold. Yeah. Like they're fucking pretty, pretty gross looking. So her, Danny's boyfriend, Christian, the way she says his name. Christian. Christian. <laughs> Christian. <laughs> um, he's like on the verge of breaking up with her. Yeah, and his friends are like, "Dude, you just gotta do. You gotta rip the bandit off. You got to, bro. Um, it's because, and- for like the most shallow reason you could possibly do it, is because she's needy. Yeah, and she like isn't putting out all the time. Mm-hmm. Imagine that. Imagine that. If I had a sibling that fucking murder suicided my family, it probably wouldn't be super horny. You know. Well, that was before that happened. Uh, yeah, yeah. But so <sighs> she. I don't know. It's it's not a great relationship. No, this yeah. is not a good relationship at all. Um, he he's about to break up with her, but then this happens. Her sister kills her parents and then kills herself. <clears throat> right. So now he's like, "Fuck." Feeling bad, he invites her to Sweden. This this trip that he's been planning with his friends for like months. Right. That she didn't really know about. She didn't it. know about just, it. It kind of gets sprung on her. Like, oh yeah, we're all going to Sweden, and she's like. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, you hadn't mentioned you were leaving the country. He is kind of shitty. He's kind of a shitty boyfriend. He's kind of <laughs> shitty. Yeah, he is kind of shitty. Um, he just like it, like the stuff that he's he doesn't uh, he doesn't have any empathy towards her. No, really, not at he's all. He's just like, oh, why are we talking about this again? Yeah, kind of thing. You know what I mean? Like, 
oh, just ignore your sister, man. She's just crying for attention. She literally killed your family. Yeah. Uh, pretty fucked up stuff. Yeah. So he feels bad. He invites her to Sweden. Do she. Want, do you want a gummy? Oh, no, I'm good. Okay, Thank no, you, though. I'm going to have one. Um, she accepts, and he's like, she she accepted, but she's not going to go, guys. Yeah, he's Come like, on. hey, I invited Danny. She's not going to go. And they're all like, okay. oh, why'd you invite her? Like, So <laughs> so she said she's not going to go? He goes, no, she said she was going to go, but she's not going to. She's gonna. not going to go. <laughs> and she goes. <laughs> she does. Um, I wonder how much time passed. Well, I guess it was only like a couple weeks, right? Yeah, because they talked about it at the party. And then yeah, they were like, "It's gonna be we're we're leaving in a couple of weeks." So man, that so it's a group of friends. Yeah, and uh, you've got you've got Will Poulter. I'm gonna call them by the names, uh, the characters' names. I think. Ooh, that is a shower gummy. Yeah, you got. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and uh, Will Poulter, uh, mm-hmm. Jack Rayner play or Will Poulter call, plays Mark. Yep. Uh, Jack Rayner plays Christian. And uh, William Jackson Harper plays Josh. Uh, you might remember him from The Good Place. He plays Chidi uh, Adagonia in The Good Place. And uh, Wilhelm Blomgren uh, plays Pele. Pele, yeah. Who's originally from Sweden. Mm-hmm. So what happens is, um, <clears throat> excuse me, William Jackson Harper, he's like, hey, I'm doing my thesis on the uh, like midsummer traditions, uh, traditions and... and festivals of various parts of the world. And Wilhelm Blomgren is from one of these places, mm-hmm. and he's like, oh, why don't you come? I'm going home. We're doing this thing. We only do it every 90, 90 years. years. Yeah. yeah. So it's a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. And he's like, great. So they all plan to tag along and go. Yep. And they make it to Sweden. Uh, they have quite a drive. They get close to their destination. They're like, hey, let's do some mushrooms. Let's start this party off. Yeah, it is weird. They just like get out of the car in a random field. Like they yeah. get out of the taxi in just like a field. Yeah. And the guy's like, hey, it's nice to meet you. Oh, these are my friends from America. Hey, we all actually just took mushrooms five minutes ago. Yeah, you guys because... want some? <laughs> so they do. Man, real uh, friendly in Sweden. Right, yeah. <laughs> um, Mark starts freaking out. Like you mentioned, he he freaks out about the the daytime, <laughs> the fact that it's nine p.m. and it's daytime. That is funny. Uh, you guys should let's all lay down. Yeah, <laughs> lay down. everybody hey, lay down. <laughs> hey, could you lay down, please? <laughs> You're not laying down. Uh, uh, I really like his character in this. That um, is, uh, that's well, me when I take mushrooms. That's why I don't do mushrooms yeah. anymore because I just I don't enjoy myself. I will say, man, the this is the most accurate representation of what. I have experienced with hallucinogens. With hallucinogens, yeah, I've ever seen. Yeah, the visuals in this. Oh, I, I was like, holy stunning. shit! Yep, this looks really good. Yeah, like yeah, it really does. Ari yeah. Aster killed. He just knocked it out of the park with this. Um, yeah. So, uh, Danny starts freaking out. She goes for a walk. Yeah, because uh, somebody's like, "Oh, you guys are like my family." Yeah, so she's like super triggered by yeah. any mention of any, it, as yeah. you fucking would be. As, this happened. This happened what, like three weeks ago, maybe. Uh, yeah, Real it's family. not very long. Yeah. It might be like two months ago, but still, that would fuck you up for a maybe long it was a time. couple months. Yeah, I don't remember, but yeah, yeah. It, it hasn't been that long. And like you said, it just you'd be fucked up. Um, I don't know that. She should have went in the first place. But yeah, I think maybe she, she thought it would clear her head or whatever. I can tell you this, though. If anybody that I knew did anything that horrific, related or not, and then I went to Sweden for whatever reason, and they're like, you want to do some mushrooms? I'd be like, no, thank you. Maybe I not. will immediately go to a very dark place, so yeah. that's a hard pass. Yeah, you got to be in a good good place for that. Um, man, she goes, she goes into this, very briefly, she goes into this outhouse, and like you see a person behind her. Oh, yeah. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> But then they're not there or whatever. And, yeah, because she's like looking in the mirror. And I got to yeah. tell you, from somebody who's taken a few trips without le- leaving the farm, uh, the mirror is the last place you yeah. want to go. <laughs> right. You don't want to go look at that. You don't need to know what's in there. Uh, it's the secrets of the universe. And right. As you would expect, she, you know, passes out. She sees her family in, in a dream. Um, I like the bit where she, I don't even know if this is the part, but in the dream, she has she's like trying to scream and this like black smoke is coming out of her mouth to oh, represent yeah. like how they died. Oh yeah. Um exhaust fumes. Exhaust fumes, yeah. Oh. Man, just horrifying. The 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 um uh symbolism, I guess, and, and and like callbacks to stuff like that in this film are like 
like master class. Oh yeah, me. like fucking just oh my god, brilliant. Give me fucking chills. There's a there's a bit a bit later in the film that we'll talk about where it shows like there's a brief cut to where it shows there's a, a person there, and then all of a sudden she sees her like sister. Yeah. Eyes wide open, dead with a fucking hose duct taped to her mouth. The hose mm-hmm. leads off screen, but it's you know supposed to be exhaust from the car, and it is fucking horrifying. It is, yeah. Um, <clears throat> she she passes. I think she, Danny passes out on a field, and they find her like six hours later. Or some yeah. shit. They're like, "You've been asleep here for a while." So <laughs> yeah. she's like, "Is it tomorrow?" Yeah. Did it get dark? And they're like, "Not really. Like, Not really. Like a little, Maybe a little bit." bit. <laughs> So they go to their next stop. Uh, there's a ceremony. You know, they check out the land. They meet a bunch of people. Um, <laughs> you see this weird drawing of a, a woman. This, again, so much foreshadowing. Like, oh, holy yeah. shit. Oh, yeah. Uh, there's this drawing of a woman trimming her uh, pubic hair. Oh, yeah. And then I guess this, I think it's the same woman. She's Just like getting some period blood, period in, blood in, a, in a, in a cup, in a coffee cup. Yeah. And then it shows like a, a man drinking it. Uh, yeah. And then they're in love Ugh. and the woman's pregnant. Just fucking, Ugh. fucking Jesus. gross like, stuff. Man. Fuck? Yeah. It, this is one of those movies that like the first time I ever watched it, I, I was like 10 minutes in and I'm like, okay, I need to like super focus yeah. on everything that I'm being shown because this all comes up at some point it's, or they wouldn't show you. Exactly. Yeah. And there are certain things you like, I could tell they were focusing on certain things and I was like, okay, I need to pay attention to that. That's going to come up again. Mm-hmm. Um, but it's all done really well, really, really well. Um, there was a, there's it's a, an interesting culture to take this from because yeah. there's a, a million movies out there about like ancient like, like, Egyptians like, uh, and the Romans and the Greeks and all these tradition other and, ancient yeah. cultures and Vikings and mm-hmm. whatever. But what about what Sweden? About Sweden? <laughs> what about the Swedes? What are they up to? <laughs> what have they been doing? Selective inbreeding. That's what they're up to. Yeah, a little bit, a little yeah, bit. A little bit of that. Uh, so there's a big ceremony. Um, everyone's eating and drinking. And this is one of those bits where like kind of a sense of dread starts filling oh, the yeah. viewer because you're like okay something something's fucking something's off not here <laughs> everybody's so. in there weird but it, it seems like when they first show up they walk out of the woods out of that clearing through that big like sunshine yeah. looking portal or whatever mm-hmm. uh portals maybe the wrong word it's just a wooden structure uh gateway I guess. it kind of does resemble like a, <clears throat> some sort of portal yeah though, like a it, like a porthole yeah. kind of scenario Anyway, they walk through there, and it, it looks very much like the Garden of Eden. It's beautiful. Everybody's wearing these beautiful, like, white robes, and they're playing music. I like the way that they're, like, just the people <laughs> are standing there just fucking jamming. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, it looks fucking great, and they're, like, everybody's so happy to see each other. Nobody does – we're not doing handshakes here. We're doing hugs where, like, mm-hmm. they grab you by the neck, and they're, like, oh, my God, mm. it's so fucking good to see you. <laughs> Fuck. But, but, <laughs> <laughs> but as it as – it, continues you can just tell like something weird is gonna something, happen you know what i mean like, yeah you're like these people are strange and i don't just mean like some cultural differences i mean like yeah. something something's fu- off insidious is afoot. Um, so there are two elders <clears throat> that you can tell the the focus is on these two elders right father odd father odd mm-hmm. is that his name yeah oh okay odd ODD. You down with ODD? You know, you know I am, oh, baby. You know me. So they are carried to a cliff and uh, their hands are cut and then they uh-huh. spread the blood onto this stone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like a rune. Like a rune. Runes. And then the fucking woman jumps off the cliff. Yeah. And fucking face first into this giant rock at the bottom of the cliff. Like, yeah. <clears throat> Almost like the rock was put there deliberately, which I'm sure it I, probably I think it was. was. Yeah, because uh, there's all these like runic stones at the top of the cliffside where uh, you just assume that's where people have been, you know, put to death for, I don't know, ever. I yeah. guess I don't know. And it's kind of explained to the the crew, the Americans or whatever, that uh, what is it from birth until 36, you're in one part of the commune yeah and then from 36 to 50 whatever you are a uh Uh, like a mentor mentor yeah Yeah. and then you know from then to 72 
Yeah, you're just you're like retired essentially, or yeah. whatever. And then at seventy two, yeah, and then like, well, what happens at seventy two? And he goes, <laughs> you know, <laughs> yeah. just like the fuck, and everybody like has They're a like, little <laughs> laugh, like. <laughs> but no, he's no, very, he's fucking serious. He's very serious. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, uh, it's what they do. They slice their hands and then they jump off a fucking cliff onto a big ass flat rock. And then unfortunately, and, uh, yeah. what's his name? Uh, Father Odd? Father Odd does not die right away. Oh, that's not Father Odd. It's oh. a different guy. Father Odd's the guy, like, oh. when they show up and he's like, he's like, oh, Pele. Oh, yes, it's yes, that yes. that guy. Okay. Uh, but yeah, the, the dude, he the lands. Elder. Yeah, the elder guy, he lands feet first. Mm. And he lives. And everybody in the commune's like, oh. Until somebody walks over there with a the big ass fucking mallet and smokes him in the head. Three different times, I think. Like, three yeah, separate th- people three do Three separate people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ, that fucking, man, the first bit when they, the, the way that that scene's cut when that guy takes that fucking mallet and like goes to whack that dude in the face, boy, I don't know what it is about the texture of the thing that he hits or the speed mm. at which he swings the mallet, but it just, boy, it made me hella uncomfortable. Yeah. Like, uncomfortable in my own skin. Just like, like you want to crawl out of your own skin? I just, I felt like it felt so real. Yeah. Like, it felt like I just watched somebody get ritualistically murdered. Right. For real. For real. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, again, mad props to fucking Ari Aster with the way this thing is presented because it is fucking unnerving to yep. say the least. Um. So, yeah, his, the old man's head is bashed in. So, everyone is understandably distraught from this and there are two friends from i don't remember so there were two people from london correct a couple yeah 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 a dude and his girlfriend they were friends of just another person it's kind of like pele's situation where he just brought his friends from america well the other person was in london he brought his friends from london yeah uh that couple is freaking the fuck out especially the dude I, he, what I Which think you is, would. I mean, yeah. What I think is weird about that is that all the oh, it's because my phone was fucking on. Don't worry about that. That'll be cut out anyway. Um, the uh, the part that fucking is so weird is how like you can tell all the Americans are made uncomfortable. However, they're not uncomfortable enough to like. F- I would have just like, dude. If it was me and my old lady there, I would have just grabbed her by the arm and been like, "Come on, let's go." And we just would have left. Just would have right left. Then, yeah. I, ain't nobody taking me into town. Hard pass. I would just be like, "Hey, we should we should go. This is we're not gonna do this. You know what I mean? Yeah, like no, you no. wouldn't hard out. Yeah. I don't think I would have the balls to uh, interrupt and be like, nope. "Hey, what the fuck? You know what I mean? As the as the guy from London did. I'd have just turned around <laughs> and fucking. I just they'd have been like, "Hey, we're." Daniel. We're Daniel. We're Daniel. Alicia, go. <laughs> yeah. Fuck it. We're gone. We're bro. done, dude. We're out. We're walking. I know I, what's happening here. I remember how to get back to the road, and I remember which way we came from. So yeah. we're just we're out. We're done. Yep. Oh, this is the part where Chris, Christian, Christian, he tells uh, Josh that he's going to write his thesis on the commune, and Josh is understandably fucking upset. Oh yeah. Because. Christian knows that Christian does know he, he knows that Josh is doing his thesis on this. Oh, and, and then he, he just has acts known. like he doesn't know. Yeah. He's such a piece of He's shit. He's a fucking ass, man. Yeah, he is. <laughs> uh, Josh is fucking upset. Yeah. He's like, dude, what the f- you're writing off of my thesis. Like mm-hmm. you're writing off of it. Be cool if you did your own homework. Yeah. You know, yeah. You know what I'm Fuck saying? Fuck off, dude. Um, after all this shit, Danny's like, I'm out. Danny's starting to pack to leave, but Pele comes in. He calms her down, tells her that his parents died in a family. Or died in a family. <laughs> they died in a they family. Did. <laughs> it did happen that they way. They died in a fire. Um, and he asks if Christian makes her feel at home. Mm-hmm. And of course, we the view, we know, and she knows. Yeah, because he's done other he's, shitty things since yeah. then. You can see him like eyeballing other women. He totally forgot about her birthday. Yeah, yeah. Uh, even Pele made her this like lovely portrait drawing, mm-hmm. and what did Christian get her? Just a, a piece of bread or something. That <laughs> After fu- he remembered or, or, or was reminded, camp. right? That it's her birthday. He's like, oh fuck. Yeah, yeah. He's just he's just a shit bag. He's just a clown, you know. Yeah, he is a clown. That night, Danny gets a sleeping pill. Um, this man, I thought this was real at first, but she has a dream about the guys leaving, uh-huh. like in the middle of the night, like leaving her, leaving her there. Yeah. She's like weirdly not as upset as you might think she would be about it. She's just kind of like flabbergasted that they left. Yeah. That's that's not when it, dread. You can kind of tell that she's like 
she does feel at home there. She feels warm. Like she kind of wants to be part of this. Yeah. Huge family. How many people would you say are, there are in this commune? Ooh. To put it to put it to scale for our listeners who have hundred maybe. Maybe I was gonna say like sixty five. Maybe sixty five. It's 70. not a, maybe. Yeah, it's maybe, not a shit ton of maybe people. Maybe like yeah, maybe seventy five. I, I like can that. say comfortably that it was uh, smaller than the uh, two thousand two graduating class of Potosi <laughs> High School. <laughs> oh, for sure. Yeah. Um, also, I really another thing I really like is anytime she is hallucinating, hallucinating, uh, the. Like it's like almost like tree limbs. Yeah, she like feels herself be being one with the earth. Yeah, like you can see the plants like breathing and mm-hmm. you know Man, what I mean. It's so cool. It like just even looks... the, the flowers they like yep. bloom and open and close and shit like pulsate. Fucking wild. Yeah, looks really really good. Um, what's up with the the constant crying baby? You hear this baby crying in the background like every time they're in that. Every time they're, they're in, in that... the sleeping. Room, sleeping quarters, know. whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I don't <laughs> Will know. Will Poulter's like, how do you get it privacy? Where do you? How do you jerk how off do, in here? Jerk off in here? Yeah. <laughs> I'm just under the fucking blanket, bro. <laughs> <laughs> right, quietly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's a redhead that's fucking hot for Christian. Oh yeah, she's hot for Christian. Um, whew, she puts something under his bed. It's a love rune. It's a love rune. A love rune. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I, uh, I found this under Christian's bed. He's like, oh, this is a love rune. <laughs> this is a, a cast a love spell, make you fall in love. It almost has a uh, like a gold member uh, <laughs> yeah. accent. Yeah, he does. <laughs> he sure does. Yeah. <laughs> this is my faja. <laughs> faja odd. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Uh, yeah, so, yeah, you can tell the, the redhead's hot for Christian. He's like, uh, oh, she's recently been, uh, uh, uh approved, Pro- approved to, to mate. And yeah, he's, like, he's like, what? what? She's like, he's like, you know, have sex, uh, pants license. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, funny shit, man. She wants to mate with Christian. Oh, she's flirting with him hard. Like, they're dancing yeah. around in weird fucking line dance scenarios, and she, like, kicks him and shit. Mm-hmm. And, uh, give him a little wink. And then there's a girl that's hot for, uh, Mark. Will Poulter. Yep. Um, who he ends up, so he <laughs> he accidentally pisses on the commune's special tree. Like it's where they put the it's ashes where they put of the, their dead. And the yeah. ashes of all of their dead for who knows <laughs> how long. Forever. But yeah. And right? he's just over there pissing on it. He's just pissing on it. He's and like, I didn't know it was a special tree. I just had to pick. Like, some of the stuff about, like, the Americans in this, I'm like, oh, God, you're right. Because there are 100% people that do shit like that. Like, there's a bit. He's like, I didn't know it was a special tree. I just had to piss. He didn't even apologize. Yeah. He didn't apologize. He was just like, it's not my fault. I didn't know. Yeah. He's just is trying to redirect the blame instead of going, oh, my God, I'm so fucking sorry. I had no idea. Right. I, what can I do to make amends? I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to, like, cut my finger or my dick off or anything. But, <laughs> right. you know. Aside from that, yeah, well, aside from that, how like, can we remedy this situation? Can I kill a bird for <laughs> you or something? Yeah. yeah. Um, at this point, Simon, who is uh, – so it's Simon and Connie. They're the ones from London. Yeah. Simon leaves without Connie, and I was like, okay, he didn't leave. Yeah. Someone <laughs> killed him. <laughs> Left the mortal coil, maybe. <laughs> yeah. um, and Connie's – she's freaking out. She's like, he wouldn't just leave. But they're like they're promising her. No, he, we took him to the train station. They're gonna come back. They're no, gonna get he just you. left. Wink. He left the earth. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> milady. Believe me, he's not coming. We'll take you to him. He's not coming back. Yeah. Uh, Danny tells Christian this, and this is another point where you're like, D- this dude just fucking doesn't care. He's, he's like, just oh, like, that sucks. Oh well, yeah, that huh. sucks. Huh. Weird. So, so anyway, anyway, yeah, <laughs> he starts well, asking one of the elders about. Uh, Incest, like if they have incest within the commune, just rude. It is rude, you know. You're a guest there, and yeah, that is of course something that they do get to the bottom of because yeah. there's not that many people in the commune. Mm-hmm. Inbreeding is a problem for small collective yeah. cultures. So he's like, you know, how do you address that? But it's just tactless. He's like, so what's up with incest here? You yeah. guys, like, you guys all banging each other? Or? <laughs> Come on, dude. Yeah. Uh. And so, some of them are selectively. Yeah, selectively, right? Yeah. Um, Josh is again. He's writing his thesis. He's actually doing research. Um, 
and he speaks with an elder about their sacred works and learn he do, he learns right then that they do in fact inbreed yeah the the, uh, the elder tells him they're, straight up their oracle or whatever their or- yeah for their, whatever for their holy books but they have yeah. there are so many of them mm-hmm. so what it is is they have this they they show the the oracle or whatever and he's just like very deformed yeah and still weirdly very swedish with the blonde hair <laughs> right, yeah. know, the blonde bowl cut uh <laughs> But yeah, he looks kind of like um if you've ever seen the uh fucking Twilight Zone episode where the the all the people are like, "Oh no, we couldn't we couldn't do enough surgeries on this woman to make her beautiful." And they take all the bandages mm. off and she's just like an attractive woman. But then you see the doctors and the nurses and they're all fucking hideous and malformed. Uh they kind of kind of like kinda, that, that kind of resembles that yeah. look. Um so he's like, "Yeah, what well, you know, the, he paints he paints the pictures and mm-hmm. then we interpret them uh, because the runes are more feelings than they are words uh, for, for whatever runic alphabet they're using. Um, pretty creepy. Yeah. And you even before this, you get it like a flash glimpse of that. Uh, what What's the the omen's name oh, the, or, or the, the oracle the oracle sorry i don't know uh, I, yeah i don't know if they ever said a name uh, yeah they did it started with an r and it was foreign as fuck so okay I don't, I don't remember. but you get a flash of the oracle <laughs> and you're like whoa what the fuck it's not yeah. like it's a quick glimpse and you're like what the oh it's a fucking weird blonde pig man yeah yeah, yeah. fucking pretty Strange. disturbing looking yeah uh and then there's a bit where it's wearing will poulter's face so that's not actually that's the guy, the other guy, that's the, the guy that was staring Will Poulter down hard after he pissed on the sacred tree. It was wearing his face. That guy is wearing Will his, Poulter's Will's, face. Yeah. Uh, so Poulter disappears with the girl. He thinks he's getting some pussy. He's, he thinks he's going to get some ass. And he might have. He might have. They kill him. And I think that guy wears his face. Yeah. Fuck. Whenever, uh, what's it? Uh, Josh. Josh goes in to sneak pictures of the sacred text because he was told he no pictures. No pictures, yep. He goes in, he's sneaking pictures, and then, yeah, you see someone enter, and it's the guy that was pissed at, at Mark wearing his face. And I was like, oh, yeah. oh my yeah, God, Yeah, because he's dude. like, hey, Mark, what the fuck, man? You can't be you in can't here. You can't be in here, yeah. It's, I'm trying not to get caught. Yeah, and then he gets smoked in the dome with that fucking Ooh, yeah. that mallet. Mm-hmm. Oh, the bits of his brain hanging out and shit. God damn, this movie is... It, like, because <laughs> it's like, it, the way that I say it, it makes it sound very gruesome. But when you see it, it's like, it's in a dark room. You can just tell that there's like some gray matter hanging out of part of his head. Yeah. It's not, it's not as, it's not as graphic as I, I make it sound, but it like, it is, it's got such a fucking visceral, uh, yeah. to it. Yeah. It's, it, He's it sitting there looks, twitching and yeah, shit. Yeah, it looks real. Whoa. Yeah, it it just makes you cringe. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I think at this point they are going to have another kind of a ceremony and Danny kind of a ceremony. Cere- ceremony. <laughs> uh Danny drinks a, a tea. Hell yeah. And dude. they're gonna do a little dance. Oh yeah. And and then they're gonna make some meat pies. They're gonna make meat pies too, yep. yeah. Oh yeah, I guess I did kind of skip that. They had the meat pies, and and uh, Christian finds a pube in his. Yeah, he's like, I think I ate one of her pubic hairs <laughs> later, and that lady's like, yeah, that sounds that, that sounds, sounds like <laughs> that sounds probably right. Yeah. And he's like, huh? huh. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> so yeah, the, uh, Danny drinks the tea. They have this dance. Um, we're actually getting pretty close to. I mean, there's not a ton left, but yeah, yeah. Um. And the tea essentially it's a it's just a, it's just a another halluc- yeah, yeah, right, seems like probably not as long lasting or as potent as mushrooms, probably, right, yeah, I don't know exactly they the lady mentions what it is, but i can't I didn't write it down, um, so yeah, she they're, they're dancing, you know, they're having a good time, uh mark's I think mark eventually no, not mark, uh Christian, right. Christian eventually drinks it too, I believe. Oh yeah, yeah, he does. And that's yeah, uh, she. So so she's drinking it. They're doing this dance. They yeah. do this dance as like a ritual to you know to 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 the what they call them, the dark one or whatever, like a dark lord or whatever. To, the, to we dance until we fall down. Mm-hmm. 
And then the last person dancing, they're crowned the May Queen for their stamina. Yep, exactly. Uh, And she winds up winning. Well, just minutes before she wins the dance-off or whatever, like in in Step Up. (laughs) Step Up or Don't Back Down or, I don't know, Honey, just name a dance movie. Right. Midsummer. (laughs) The hottest dance movie. (laughs) So... Uh, she's da- dancing. She's like, "Pu, what's that smell?" And Chris, <laughs> they're like, "Drink the thing." And he's like, "Nah, I don't want to." And then he's like, "He does drink it anyway." Eventually, he does. Be- yeah. And he's, he's like, "Fucking freaking out, dude." He's freaking out, and yeah. he's feeling real uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. Like you can tell just by looking at him, be like, "This guy, he just wants to die." Like he just wishes he was dead right now instead yeah. of high. Uh, yeah. So she she wins the dance. You know, she's the last standing, and they have a they have a dinner, mm-hmm. and he's just at the table. <laughs> Just like freaking the fuck out, oh, you know, yeah. shaking, and and she is. I like the bit when he turns to that old man next to him. Yeah. And he's like, <laughs> he's like, what's, what's, what's happening? It's happening right now. And the guy just like just claps fucking, in his yeah. face. He's like, oh, why'd you do that? <laughs> why'd you do that to me? Like, just say like fucking fucking piece of shit. Oh. Uh, <laughs> uh, and then they uh, they go like, oh, you got to bless the crops or whatever. And she goes to bless the crop. Yeah. She goes to bless the crops, and uh, she's like, oh, can Christine come with me? And they're like, no. You have no. To, the queen rides alone. Yeah, she rides in this carriage <laughs> that they carry, of course. <laughs> yeah. Kind of cool, I guess. Um, you don't have horses? <laughs> and they fucking, they like, when she leaves, they like, uh, a little flower girl comes out and like throws down flowers for Christian so he can oh, yeah. follow the flowers to this weird fuck shack. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where all fucking old reds out there just fucking spread eagle like, come get this pussy boy. And, and there's just a bunch of naked old ladies in there. Behind her. Like, yeah. yeah. It's pretty weird when he's banging her, that lady's like pushing on his ass, like, get up in there, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's fucking weird, man. It's odd, man. I am, uh, I am, I am socially awkward enough. Drugs or no drugs, I, I can't. I could, like, I'm I could not, not. I would not be down for that. I'd be like, nope. Yeah. Could you guys leave? <laughs> <laughs> could you guys all leave? And they also start like once they start having sex, the other women start mimicking, uh, the, oh. re- the redheads. Oh, yeah. Ew. And there's a th- that's kind of a theme in this. Um, it just makes the movie even more. Just they all mimic creepy, each other's yeah. like emotions. Yeah, like, mimic each other's like strong emotions, mm-hmm. like fucking crying, fear, or, yeah. pain, crying, screaming, terror, pleasure. That's fucking weird, man. Yeah, it's real just weird. Kind of makes it, I don't know, intense. Uh, just, but it's just bizarre. I don't yeah. know how else to explain well, it. Florence Pugh gets back and she hears all that dirty fucking going on in there. And she's like, "What's happening?" <laughs> What's that? And the she's girl, like, you don't want to see that. She's like, "That's not for us." Yeah, that's not for she's you. She's like, "Oh, it is going to be for me. I'm going to go look." She goes. She looks in the in the peephole and she like throws up because she's like, "Oh no, Christian, Christian, Christian's banging, fucking somebody, somebody, a bunch of ladies, maybe. I don't <laughs> maybe. know. Maybe Christian's out there just fucking dicking his, sticking his wick in all of it, man. I don't know. Putting babies in everybody. Fuck, you get a baby. <laughs> you, you get, get a baby." baby. <laughs> Y'all are probably too old for babies, but hey, we gotta try. Um, and he, he, you know, does his thing. He finishes. Yeah. He exits the, the barn or whatever the fuck. It is. Just ashamed. Just and fucking. Yeah. So I read that he was supposed to have a robe, and he's like, "No, I think it, he should be naked." And it's like he, you see him bust out, and he still has like blood on his yeah. dick and stuff. It's yeah, his very... dick's real red. I was like, is that is that is that menstrual blood, or is he just did he have a really red wiener? She's a virgin. Oh, yeah. Because remember they said yeah, she, yeah. She's at the age that she gets to start having sex yeah. or whatever. Fucking so. bust a hymen, you know. <laughs> <laughs> know what I'm saying? Uh, it's very mm, man. It's just it's just such a shocking film, yeah. like. I don't know how else to describe so, it. He like he goes to run in one building and then he changes his mind. He winds up going in the chicken coop. Yeah. And in the chicken coop, Here there's the fucking the dude from London. Yeah, Simon. Simon. They've got him like suspended from the ceiling and mm-hmm. they have given him the blood eagle treatment, uh, which is a uh, type of like, uh, I believe, Viking. Viking. Yeah. Uh, originates from Viking uh, where they'll what they'll do is they'll cut on either side of your spine uh, flay the skin of your back, break and remove all of your ribs. So your ribs are coming out from the back and then they pull your lungs out and your lungs will flutter Mm -hmm. until you die. Yeah. 
Uh, He's still alive, technically. He is still technically (laughs) alive, which is fucking (laughs) some of the grossest looking shit. Um, When you see it from the back, yeah. Who takes the time to do that? To be like, hey, you know what we should do? You know what? You know what would look good on you? (laughs) (laughs) Have you ever tried on a blood eagle? (laughs) Let's fucking hook that up real quick. Let's try that out. Oh, dude. Fucking very disturbing. Yeah. Um. And then Christian, like, he starts to freak out and he turns it because he's not seen anybody be murdered except for those people that did it voluntarily. Mm-hmm. Oh, you know? before he sees Simon, he sees Josh's leg sticking out of the ground. Yeah. By a house. Yeah. Just a random, just a random, just a leg. random, like, leg, calf, foot situation. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, it's like from the knee down. Yeah. Just sticking up out of the it's garden. Like, buy some flowers and stuff. <laughs> it's like, yeah, just foot up. Foot yeah. Up. Really weird, man. <laughs> yeah. Like, where's the rest of him? Surely they didn't bury the whole guy, like, straight down in the... Because where's his other foot? Right. They just put a... Is that a good luck? You just Maybe put that's... a foot in the garden? <laughs> right. Does Carrie have a foot in the garden? Just a foot in the garden. <laughs> yeah. You know, keeps the beasts away. It's that weird racist neighbor you guys have. <laughs> just a foot with a swastika <laughs> right. tattoo on the bottom. Fuck uh, that guy. Fuck yeah, that fuck guy. that guy. Um, yeah, he ends up in the shed. He sees Simon. Um, and then a man comes from behind and blows this dust into Christian's face oh. <laughs> and it fucking paralyzes him. Oh yeah. Paralyzes him. He can't speak. All he can do is see. So he wakes up and there's a lady that's like, Hey, oh, Christian, you Christian. can't talk or you can't move. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> she just <laughs> walks off. Like, just don't try it. Like, I'm sure you're freaking out. It's okay. You just can't talk or move. Yeah. Okay. All, All right. right. We'll see you later. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's uh it's time for the final ceremony. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh Yeah. Um, so basically the commune must offer nine human lives to purge it of evil. Yep. And we've already had. They've done seven, eight eight Eight? total. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Eight. So Uh, they got to pick one more and who gets to choose the last one? The May Queen. The May Queen. So they just get another guy. They draw him at random from a a lottery. (laughs) When they draw, when they do. It fucking yeah. cracked me up. It's like the Powerball. <laughs> yeah. And they have like a Powerball hand cream yeah. thing. And they call the guy out and he comes out and he's like, yeah. And they're like, all right, May Queen, what's it going to be? This guy from our commune this who you've never guy. talked to? Just a random guy? <laughs> or your boyfriend who's paralyzed now? Yeah. Pro- maybe forever? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, and she chooses him. Yeah. And then uh, they've had a bear? Like at the commune yeah. the whole time? You only see it like once. You see it like, once. Earlier they're like... Somebody's like, what's up with the bear? Yeah. I'm like, it's a bear. Yeah. yeah, it's just it's a bear. <laughs> it's just a bear. Yeah. So much foreshadowing. Again, yeah. It's just, so they they this, take sorry, go oh, ahead. Oh, no, no, you go I, ahead. I think this just deserves a rewatch, like to to really pick up on if this you don't is, pay close enough attention. This is my third viewing, and I still found little yeah. little tidbits that I was like, Oh yeah, cool, mm-hmm. man. Very cool. Um, I watched it once by myself. I was so impressed with it. I made Alicia rewatch it with me. Yeah. And then I obviously watched it for the podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, it's a phenomenal movie. But uh, they take Christian. Yep. And they sew him up <laughs> inside of the bear. They re- Yeah, so they uh, disembowel the bear. And then they fucking yeah. put Christian <laughs> in the bear. Yeah. And I was like, th- before they did, I was like, oh, no, they're not going to. Are they? They are. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> Just sewed them inside of a big cozy bear onesie. Yep. I bet it's fucking hot and gross in there. And then they take him and the others that have been sacrificed. Yep. They put them in this yellow barn that they saw in the beginning of the film. Yeah. You know, it was kind of off limits. The ones that are still alive. He's like, take from the yew tree. Yeah. Feel no fear. Mm-hmm. Take from the yew tree. Feel no pain. Oh, yeah. The two that kind of uh, sacrificed themselves. Yeah. They're still alive. I don't know what that is. What is the, what is the, the yew tree? Yeah, I mean, I know it's a tree used for, like, making bows and shit. Uh, let's see here. Oh, let's check it out. Uh, is the yew tree poisonous? Uh, toxicity. Oh, yeah. Uh, all parts of the yew tree, except for the fleshy red part of the berry, contain taxine, a toxic alkaloid. Okay, so it's it's alkaloid poisoning. Hmm. Hmm. What's interesting to me is... They were told that they would have no pain, and they <laughs> not, set they set the barn. <laughs> not that one guy. <laughs> they set the barn on fire, 
And quickly, they're, I think they realize, they look at each other and they're like, oh, shit. No, no. They lied. Yeah, I think they might <laughs> like, be paralyzed, though, because the guy's just Yeah, it paralyzes there. them, I believe. Yeah. And they're, they're, they're told, you know, you'll feel no pain, but uh, they definitely feel some pain. It's <laughs> fucking burning alive. Yeah. yeah. It sounds pretty fucking horrifying. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, the fucking, dude, all of it, like, the, the bits where those guys are burning alive in that thing, mm-hmm. it's fucking kind of hard to watch. Yeah. Like. Uh. And the commune does their thing where they start freaking out. They mm-hmm. kind of they're kind of mimicking what the people in the barn would feel, you know, yeah. <laughs> being burned alive. Yeah, trying to feel their emotions for them because yeah. they're being burned alive. But mm-hmm. you know, we'll have a feast later. And, and maybe then, a campfire, uh, I don't know. <laughs> right. Then it pans to Danny and she starts fucking smiling. Uh-huh. Just a yeah. big old smile. Because she's her face. now all of her problems are are gone. They're all gone. She has a new family. She has yep. a new life. It's beautiful. Everybody loves her. They appreciate her. They hold her up like she's a queen. They yeah. really treat her special. It's kind of like uh it's almost like a fairy tale. Yeah. In a way. A yeah. fucked up, a very fucked up fairy tale. A very tale. fucked up. You know, yeah. have you ever heard the fairy tale of the donkey cabbages? Mm-mm. It's a real fairy tale. It's called the donkey cabbages. Hmm. But you eat a cabbage, it turns you into a donkey. Yeah, there's fucking weird shit out there. You know what I mean? Yeah. I could see this being like an old uh, uh, st- story, <laughs> right? <laughs> or a new story? You know, I don't know. Um, yeah, fucking just a batshit crazy movie, man. Yeah, really, really um, is. I can't think of anything else that I'm like, oh yeah, have you? If you like this other movie, you'll like Midsummer. I don't. I, it doesn't compare to anything else I've ever seen. There are some it's, movies that have kind of the same tone, yeah, but not similar in in content and this, uh, like aesthetic and I don't know. Yeah, I feel like it's the best representation of like as far as a cult or yeah, uh, you know, cult like. Yeah, and I love a good I love a good cult. Mm-hmm. Um, it's funny. Me and Alicia were rewatching this. She's like, I'd like to go visit a cult someday. And I'd be like, yeah, it would be really cool. I'd like to leave with my yeah, life. Right. You know, that's the hard part is leaving. The hard, you know, you, they'll let anybody in. The, the hard, hard part, part is, is leaving. leaving yeah. yeah. Um. So there's a lot of trivia for this, obviously. I yeah. Mean, Lay some on me. Well, we got. So just to, just one thing I thought was interesting. Uh, Jackson Harper or William Jackson Harper is the only American. Like true, like in real life. Oh, yeah. Because Florence Pugh's not American. And I then, didn't know about that other guy, the kind of redheaded guy. Um, Christian, Christian, um, he's in a TV show we just watched. Well, Alicia was watching it. I kind of watched it. Uh, sexy rich people, and then there's a murder. Mm. Um, yeah, right, Jack yeah, Rayner. He the, is the best couple, the perfect couple, mm. a perfect couple, something like that. He's Irish. Uh, ah. Florence Pugh, Will Poulter. Uh, Will Poulter's not American. He's English. Huh. Yeah. Okay. Because he's in the so he's in the bear for an episode. Oh, really? And, uh, yeah, he had an accent. I was like, wait, is he not American? And yeah, he's huh. English. Yeah, that's a, that's a dude that had a glow up. Boy, he was a fucking... Yeah, he was a strange looking dude when he was younger. Yeah, strange looking dude in his teens. And mm-hmm. then uh, he just turned... Now he just looks like he's a normal... A good dude. Just he's a normal... good looking dude, yeah. yeah. Um, man, I, th- I think it's so interesting that this was one year after Hereditary came out. He did this. Yeah, like I know. You, not a fan of Hereditary. No, I, I was. I really was not on my first watch. I rewatched it for the podcast. Tried to like really have an open mind about it, and I enjoyed it a lot more than I thought that I would. Maybe um, I need to revisit. It just didn't hit with me the same as this would, did. But think, you you described it perfectly. You're like, this has more uh, gravitas. Yeah, it does. It, it, it really has, does, and that's kind of the perfect. It, you, I would challenge you to look away from it because once it gets going, once they get into Sweden, you just can't take your fucking eyes off of yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, great, great film. Um, Danny's surname in this is Ardor or Ardor, however you say that. Mm. It, it means, that is Latin for flame. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Um, this was not filmed in... Oh, yeah, I already said that. It was filmed in uh, Hungary. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, I don't know if we... Uh, yeah, I think you did mention that, actually. I didn't know if it was before we actually sat down to record. Yeah. Um, what... Uh, oh, you said... You no, still I'm just some kind of going through some randoms. Dude, there's a lot. Of, like, a lot. I was like, holy yeah? shit. Is that is that pubes and period blood uh, meal? Is that a real tradition somewhere? You know what? I'm not sure if that's in there. Hmm. Um, yeah, it's I don't fucking... know if... Gross if it is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I hope not. 
I don't want to <laughs> eat. Nobody wants to eat hair, you know? Right. It's nasty. <laughs> I bet it clean your colon right out though, <laughs> just like a fucking chimney sweep through your guts. You know what I mean? You think so? Uh, yeah, maybe. Um, oh yeah. So here's uh, when Josh sneaks away to photograph pictures of the uh, the holy book. He thinks that he sees Mark standing in the doorway of the temple. It is in fact Ulf, the man who screamed at Mark for urinating on the ancestral tree, wearing Mark's skin. Hell yeah. Um, man, I so I ended up buying this because I'm I'm gonna watch the you director's, bought the director's cut. cut. Yeah, fifty bones, huh? Yeah, Whew, you're expensive. Got a hundo between that and the coyotes, uh, uh. <laughs> coyotes <laughs> jersey. <laughs> so it adds an extra twenty three minutes. Yeah, the, the, the director's cut. You're yeah. gonna have to let me borrow it. Oh yeah, like after for sure. you, after you get it and watch it because I I, sure. I I have heard other people say the director's cut's fucking incredible. It's, they say it's better. It's even better. It just kind of adds. I don't know what you would add to it. Like it's very, so, it's very full. Like yeah. I feel, I feel like this is a full film. There's not too much there. They didn't. I feel like they didn't leave anything out. But man, I'm excited to see what that extra twenty minutes is. Like what I, that contains. I think from my understanding, because I did, I tried not to read too much. But like some of the deaths that you don't really get to see, are maybe not. You don't necessarily see them, but um, it gives you a better idea of what really happened. Uh, okay, so like fucking blood eagle guy, and his girl, Maybe, yeah. his girlfriend who right. Just, it's like what happened to her? Or... You never see her again yeah. at all. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So I really can't wait to watch that. Uh, plus, it just the it just looks beautiful. Like the the set, the director's copy. Or whatever. Oh yeah, man. The the artwork, all mm-hmm. the artwork in this movie, insane. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Just everything about this man. It just looks good. Um, just hell of a story. Visually striking. Oh, just yeah, 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 it sure is. Everything. Um, <laughs> says here's a part. It says earlier in the film, Simon sees a group of kids playing. He asks Pele, you know, what they're doing. He he explains that they are playing Skin the Fool, uh, which kind of goes to Mark because Will Poulter is the fool. <laughs> like the later, fool. He, they they take his face and put it on like a scarecrow type yep. type situation and put a little fool's hat on top of it. Yeah, yeah. So he's the fool, yeah. yeah. Which I mean, it makes sense, you know. But he yeah. plays that part really well, for oh, sure. Just an idiot, just yeah. a kind of a dumbass. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's a little funny though. Um, do you think this is like it is a dark comedy? You know, and it, like parts of it, I, I think. Yeah. Right. Like. Yeah, I think so. I think it's meant to have that like dark humor. Yeah, I would agree with that. Parts yeah. of it for parts of it for damn sure. Because I laughed out loud a few times. <laughs> like, <laughs> Yeah, like, what was um God, there's fucking one part that's actually it's it's quite funny. I'm trying to remember I feel like it's toward the beginning of the movie, maybe. Oh, I thought this was really interesting. Um, you know, despite being the main characters, uh and with the exception exception of cries and screams, neither Danny nor Christian uh speaks in the last twenty five minutes. Oh, yeah, no, that probably tracks. Yeah. Yeah, because she, like, I thought, okay, that, uh, this is an interesting part. When they're doing that dance, mm-hmm. and there's another girl, and she's talking to Danny, and Danny doesn't understand her, and she's like, I don't speak Swedish, but she says it in Swedish, and she's like, you're doing it now. She we starts, understand each yeah. other. She's like, what? <laughs> what? Is that a part of the hallucination, or is, you know what I mean? I, or is that? I don't, you know, I don't yeah. know. Maybe there's a drug out there that just makes you speak makes you <laughs> Swedish, you know? That was a cool bit, yeah. yeah. I did like that. Yeah, good stuff. Uh, how many, uh... You want to rate it? How many, how many, uh, ooh, how many, uh, meat pie thumbs? How many, how many stuffed bear, stuffed yeah. human yeah. bear thumbs? Uh, if you're, each of your thumbs was a little man that was stuffed and sewn <laughs> inside of a bear... <laughs> Like a pig in a blanket, but it's yeah, a man it's, and a bear. <laughs> man, man, bear, pig. Man, bear, pig. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, um, man, I think I gotta go ten. I think it's a tenner for me. It's too. a tenner. It's, I, a, it's a. If I was being hypercritical, I would still give it a nine five. I like. Yeah. I mean, there's nothing about this that I don't like. It sits with you, and I think after I watched it, I was like, I don't know what I'm gonna rate this. But the next day, I just kept thinking about it, and I was like, man, this is a just fucking. It's, it's yeah. a tour de force. Yeah, it fucking gets up in your gets up in your crawl for sure. Like yeah. it just, it's I just gonna couldn't stop thinking about it. Stay with you for a little while. Yeah, yeah. Um, expertly done. Speaking of staying with you for a little while, um, <laughs> we picked one of the like eighteen pumpkin head movies that are out there. 
Uh, what's this one called? Asses to asses or something like that. <laughs> pumpkin head asses to asses. Yeah, pumpkin head asses to asses. And uh, oh, we're going to go shit. watch that because it sounds like maybe it has a cult vibe to it. Yeah. So we'll, see. we'll find out and we'll uh, we'll be right back. Here's a word for Ooh, it's getting real late night. <laughs> maybe like 3 a.m. Could use a little something else, maybe something kind of sweet. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can't cut this, so we got like it's a one and done situation. Ooh. Let me just whip out my phone here and go to 3amsweets.com. Oh, God. But then the wind blew in. I entered a code. Come joke. <laughs> Ooh, twenty five percent off. This is a real ad. <laughs> Please send some business to three AM Sweets dot com. Mm. Ooh. That's it. We're going to get up in it, boy. <laughs> this grapefruit yeah, combo. This, gra- this great conversation <laughs> we're having about grapefruit right now. Uh, let's see, welcome back. Pumpkin head, pumpkin spice. Ooh, it was about that time. <laughs> Twice as nice. Pumpkin head. This is when you have sex with a jack o' lantern. That's what that's called. <laughs> pumpkin head. <laughs> asses to asses. Here we go. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> it just, it didn't bring up anything about the movie. It just brought up pumpkin head, asses to asses, full cast. <laughs> okay, pumpkin head, ashes to ashes. Here we go. R rated 2006 horror thriller. One hour, 31 minute runtime. You can watch this on Tubi if you don't mind watching some ads because Tubi do be doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't forget. I remembered it. Yes. Uh, it's got a 4.3 out of 10 on IMDb, 24% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I don't see the Google user reviews, but it was like 68 or something. It's pretty high. It was pretty good. Yeah. Uh, this stars Lance Hendrickson. Uh, I know a guy who knows him. Uh, Doug Bradley plays Doc Frazier. Douglas Roberts as Bunt Wallace or Butt Wallace. <laughs> Butt Wallace. Butt Wallace. Yeah. Uh, Tess Panzer plays Molly Sue Allen. Lisa McAllister plays Dahlia Wallace, old meth lady. Uh, Deku Ariel plays meth dealer guy. Fuck yeah. Um, I guess that's really all the ones anybody cares about. Dude, would you have a good guess on the budget for this? This is going to blow your mind. Oh. It's gonna blow your fucking mind. Is it like fucking six hundred thousand dollars or something? No, six million dollars. Where? <laughs> Where? Right. Is it? Is it in two thousand six? Is it the Ford Focus they turned into a police cruiser? Is that? <laughs> is actually you know what? It's probably all the CGI. Oh, there was it, a fair bit of CGI, and it it's almost all CGI. You know what? You know what? You said it multiple times during this movie that this movie looks like it's five years old. It does not look it like it's from look 2006. It didn't look like it was from 2006. No. So weird. It looks pretty great. Uh, I mean, not except, the CGI. But, no, it, it's, yeah, it's but, weird because the CGI, it looks so ahead of its time. And then the CGI just, it like, uh, it takes throws it, it back. It takes it right back <laughs> yeah. to when, that time when Spawn and they go to hell. <laughs> Dude, that just blows my mind. $6 million in Midsummer was $9 million. Budget, dude, like, fucking, that's fucking crazy. Just on this episode of low budget bangers. Yeah, hmm. just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Um, just kidding. I will say some stuff about pumpkin head asses to asses though. Uh, <laughs> the 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 practical suit, the pumpkin head suit. I love that creature design. Like, yeah, it looked, I, think I mean, it looked fu- fine. It, it's, it's a cool little looking. silly, but well, it's just a big fucking bony. <laughs> it's just a big bony monster. Um, so if you're wondering, what is pumpkin head asses to asses about? Birdman's going to let you know. Birdman's going to tell you. <laughs> uh, this is the third movie 
in, out of four, I believe, yeah, as far as we could tell. Is it four? I think it was four. It's gonna, somebody on Reddit knows. Because uh, this one is the only one that, let's see, yeah, Pumpkinhead. Oh, yeah, it says four. There's four of them. Yeah, the fourth one is Blood Feud. Oh, yeah, Blood Feud. Blood Feud. Um, Asses to Asses, though, is about a <laughs> small community that finds out that the uh, mortician is he a mortician? Or yeah, he, yeah. It's, he he he's at the, he's a uh, doctor slash mortician slash fucking whatever. Yeah, he is. They taking, call him Doc, but he's a mortician, yeah. and he he owns the crematorium mm-hmm. where they don't cremate anybody. <laughs> well, it's busted. That's what Butt said oh. at, at some point in the film. Yeah. So uh, this guy is taking the bodies and he's st- stealing the uh, organs. Yeah. And then dumping the bodies in the in the woods. He's also supplying meth to a hot goth girl <laughs> to bang her, <laughs> which I think they didn't hang a big enough of a lantern on. Yeah. Because he's like, oh hey there, baby, and she's like, oh. <laughs> Oh, baby. Dead. I'm like, no. what? And then he, he's just like, did you get the stuff? And he's like, yeah. He pulls out this stuff. pulls out this tiny bag. Look, I used to do methamphetamines. Not proud of it. Uh, but I did. And he put this tiny little bag. I'm like, oh, it's $13. <laughs> <laughs> it's, a, it's a fucking what? So um, the, the town figures out that he's doing this. And they're pissed. And they're like, you know oh. what? We're going to fucking summon Pumpkinhead. Yeah. <laughs> the, so just so you know, like when you get into the movie or whatever, he's like, yeah, we're going to take out this kidney. And he cuts this guy's <laughs> guts open like by the belly button. And what he pulls out is undoubtedly a liver. Yeah. Because right. it's it's large. It's huge. You know, it's a big organ uh, where the kidney is not. It's a, a relatively small organ. It's a, about the size of your fist-ish, a little bit smaller. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and he's like, he puts it in a cooler with a couple of cold beers, as you would. <laughs> and they take it over to the meth head, and he's like, yeah, but check out this kidney. And it's just humongous, this giant it's piece like of flesh. elephant kidney. Yeah, so. Uh, just silly. That's, just yeah, silly. a lot of silly. Um, yeah, so basically that's what's going down. He, uh, the doc sets out to kill everyone that was involved with summoning Pumpkinhead so that way that would in turn kill Pumpkinhead. Yeah, because they summon Pumpkinhead yeah. to kill him. Yes. Yep. And he's... That's, that's what's going down. It may, he makes... If you summon Pumpkinhead, he makes you Batman or something. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> I didn't quite follow that, but he's like, now you're vengeance. You no, got vengeance running. It's through your veins. Vengeance is in your blood. That's sorrowful, sad. Um, I'm just going to go on a limb here and say, no, I don't know why I said that. I just <laughs> had, I had a lot of fun with this. Oh, I'm not yeah. going to lie. I, no, me too. Uh, I, it, it did drag somewhere in the middle a little bit. Maybe like 10 or 15 minutes. I was like, all right, let's go. Come yeah. on, let's pick it's it up a little bit. It's the bit when they're like, we're going to go see the old hag again. That like that that bit. The, the old hag is entertaining. Oh, man. What is she supposed to She's supposed to be like a fucking witch or something? or Swamp witch. I swamp mean, witch? That's my best guess. Yeah. Yeah. She's pretty good. Did they say where this takes place? Because they're like, everybody's doing a mm, southern draw. But somewhere in the south. Of, it's they a didn't... lot of swamp area. Yeah, they didn't say. Yeah, you can tell it's in the south. <laughs> right. Like, what do you mean there's bodies in the woods? <laughs> there's bodies in the swamp. They got bodies in the swamp over there. Uh, this is what we're doing out here in Appalachia. I wonder if it says where they filmed it. Uh, what? It says filming locations. Uh, Romania. <laughs> what? Hmm. Why? I, is that why it costs $6 million? <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it's super cheap to film in Romania. I mean, getting all the stuff to Romania is right. not, you know That's what I mean? Cheap. That's yeah. a lot of money just to do that by itself. Do you think a lot of the budget was Lance Henriksen? I don't know. I can't imagine him being, like, I feel like Lance would just do it for a paycheck or whatever, because he's barely in it. He could have filmed all his shit yeah, in two in days. Yeah, like 20 minutes. Yeah. Um, well, he's a ghost. That's right. He is a, he's pumpkin. Is he the OG pumpkin head? I think he's this or, pumpkin head for sure. Yeah, I think that's that's how Pumpkinhead works. So like, if I summon Pumpkinhead to kill you, mm. and you kill me, the next time someone summons Pumpkinhead, he's born from my dead body. Mm. 
I understand. Is my best guess. Yeah. I think. We'll that's go what with I, that. That's what I took from watching the movie, which largely in a lot of places did not make sense. Yeah. You're right about that. But we had a lot of fun with watching it. We did. Everybody's accents are fucking oh. fantastic. There's that dude that's got to be 80 yard. I mean, he's probably not. But he his voice does not fit. <laughs> yeah, that was the weird. rest of him. Yeah, that was strange. Yeah, he's like, like what's up with this guy's voice? Is he doing? Is there a voiceover? He's very dumb. I, I can't even get low enough <laughs> right. to where he. <laughs> um, do you know any like? Are there any other actors in this that you're like, oh, it's guy from no, just Lance Henriksen? <laughs> yeah, just okay. Lance Henriksen. Because I was thinking, I was like, the doc looks kind of familiar, but I checked out his. Yeah, after looking at a picture, I'm like, no. Doc, uh, the fuck was it? Oh, Doc Fraser. Fraser? Fraser? Doug Bradley. Doug Bradley. So, apparently he was in the Hellraiser movies. Hmm, okay. Like, all of them. <laughs> <laughs> like, every one of them. One, two. Oh, he's probably Hellraiser. Pinhead? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and two of them it says, er, no, three of them it says Pinhead, but it doesn't say that, that in the first one. Weird. Let's see here. I'm looking to see what else uh, Douglas Roberts is in. Oh, fuck. He's in Patch Adams. <laughs> Douglas Roberts. And Clean and Sober, starring Michael Keaton. Oh, my God. He's in uh, Envy. Do you remember that movie? Envy. Jack Black. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's funny, man. Yeah, he's in some weird looking shit. <laughs> that movie was kind of dumb, Envy. That Jack Black and Ben Stiller. Yeah. yeah. Isn't that where... He invents, like, the spray that gets rid of dog shit or whatever. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, I've totally it's fucking recovered a core memory there. <laughs> wow. Fucking silly. All right, so anyways, Pumpkinhead. Pumpkinhead. He's, um, got, a big, he's got a big head. Kind of, kind of looks like a testicle when yeah. you pull the skin over it real tight. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> My favorite parts, I would say... um. Just how ridiculous the acting is in general. I, I did like you. I was I was like, the look of Pumpkinhead is pretty pretty fun. Yeah. Um. It's just a slimy it, kind of. He's like alien like. Yeah. He's like xenomorph esque. <laughs> yeah. You know, in a bit because mm-hmm. he's like kind of elongated and shit and got the weird fingers and and he just kind of pokes people and then kills. Yeah, there's <laughs> a bit where she's like, "Oh, you're the devil. Take me. Take me home." <laughs> and he just like pokes her in the chest and it, like his finger just. <laughs> You know, shoots through the other side. He's got that sick ass tail. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, yeah. Fuck he, yeah. he used that to. It's a xenomorph tail, yeah. like a hundred percent. Right. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Nailed it. Just a weird clicking noise. Oh man. Oh yeah, fun man, fun pumpkin head. Um. The fucking yeah, I will say everybody's a little too hard on the gas on the on the accents, especially the blonde. Uh, I, she oh was, yeah, she was dialed yeah, up. I'll tell you what they're doing in them there at that old crematorium, <laughs> and by God, it ain't right. It's not right. It's not right. <laughs> I gotta go to the Walmart. The WalMarts. Oh, dude, man, yeah, uh, a little too thick in the paint for my yeah. taste. It just. The, there's a difference between doing an accent and doing it so hard that you feel like a caricature. Yeah, and everybody in this kind of felt like a caricature. They, yeah, for sure. Even down to old butt. Oh, uh, but, uh, bunt. Bunt. Yeah. Bunt. Yeah. We just kept calling butt. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, butt. Come on, butt. It did kind of sound like they even <laughs> it called did, him yeah. butt a handful of times. Yeah. I'm like, oh, that's funny. Huh. Weird. <laughs> um, I would say it's pretty obvious. Lance Hendrickson is the best performance in this. He's fucking intense, he's man. pretty good. Because it's just like, a lot of it's like panned in monologue, except for that part where it's zoomed out and he's like, bang, bang. Like, <laughs> yeah, that, like, acts yeah. like he's shooting himself in the head. Like, that kind was kind of silly. silly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I like a little wink at it. Like, you know, we're just making a movie here, folks. Yeah, you know? right. Just yeah. don't take it too seriously. I think I read that he originally turned this down because the script was, he said the script was terrible. So I guess they punched up something. And I mean, it's, for what it is, it's fine. Yeah, yeah, I think it's um, fine. It's just, I don't know. I think it's a neat creature feature. You know what I mean? Yeah. He's like, I don't really care what the mechanic. This is like how we, like in the the Black Label episodes, where we're making that movie pitch. Mm-hmm. And like, it doesn't really matter how we get to the thing, you know, as it's long just, as the thing is cool. And that's right. kind of how this is. Yeah. Um, 
Some of the CGI, I, I definitely didn't care for, but some of it was so fun. There's that bit where he's like in the window and he jumps out of the window. It's the CGI. Yeah. Jesus Christ, man. That's so fucking stupid. When uh, there's a bit when, uh, let's see, it's towards the end. The one of the, is it the doctor? He shoots the canister of, uh, what is that? Uh, um, uh, like a cook stove. Um, yeah. Yeah. Like a camping cook stove, but mm-hmm. a, a big one. Yeah. He shoots that. Propane, maybe? Pro- it might be propane. Yeah. Yeah. Which for sure would have exploded. Yeah. And it did. And the explosion, when it <laughs> when it blows back the doctor, <laughs> it looks like he's floating in the air. <laughs> that fucking cracked me it up. It does. Dude. It almost looked like green screen. Like, Whoa. Yeah. <laughs> oh, fucking real silly. I think it was actually probably like a practical dummy or whatever, but whatever yeah. they used to fling it was just... <laughs> <laughs> hilariously too much rotation you know what yeah I mean? for sure oh very um, fun yeah it's you know we again we had a lot of fun with God, this that fucking doctor he's a sturdy motherfucker because mm-hmm. he got thrown around a lot yeah he did yeah yeah was he the one that got the tail through the through the yeah, yeah towards the end right at the end <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah some of the cgi you're like all right yeah yeah but again this is uh almost 20 years ago. That's crazy. So it's like you got to give it a little bit of leeway. Yeah, the 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 practical I could dude, if I'd have seen this in what was it 2005 06. 2006? Yeah. If I would have seen this in 2006, I'd have been you smitten. Probably, you probably would have been pretty much pretty much impressed for the most part, I think. Yeah, I think so. Um they're just those few things we we kind of Got a good laugh from uh, us for, uh, sure. for sure, man. And some of it's like the character acting of the, of the guy that plays Butts or whatever his <laughs> name is Buns, Buns, <laughs> Buns Holloway, Bunt, yeah, Bunt, Bunt, Bunt Wallace, Bunt Wallace, Buns Wallace, <laughs> Buns Wallace. I fucking like it, man. I like it. Um, I don't. What would you do to improve upon it if you were going to? I would say the CGI stuff. Just remove it entirely. It's maybe then, just a go with like then don't have it jump off a building. Yeah. You know what I mean? Have oh, it, the oh pumpkin head yeah. when it jumped off the building. Is that what yeah, you're talking about? Because that's really the only CGI stuff that I remember staunchly is like when it's climbing up that building, yeah. when it jumped off the building, <laughs> and then when it jumped out of that fucking window in the church. Yeah. That was pretty silly looking. Um there was a one of the car when the car flipped. Some that there was a little fucky, little fucky <laughs> fuckiness there that looked yeah. kind of weird. Yeah, there was. Um, uh, that might have been the stream we watched it on, though. Maybe you know what I mean because yeah. it was like might have skipped or something. Yeah, it fucking something was goofy there for a second. Um, I, some of the acting, I got to replace probably a few of the actors. Who do you get? Let's say, let's say we're remaking Pumpkinhead three tit for tat. <laughs> <laughs> And uh, I'd keep Lance Hendrickson. I'd keep Lance Hendrickson too. I'm keeping who, him all who day. Who else do you get though? Like, let's say it's high budget. We can get. Uh, I want get whoever we want. Would we replace the doctor? I feel like we probably would, right? Or do you keep him? Yeah, I mean, like he I was. Think you could get. I think he was okay, but you could get. You could get somebody to fucking well, like really. Stephen Lang, as the doctor. Oh, Stephen Lang would be good. Yeah. It's Artie kinda... Lang. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god! Uh, what was I? Gonna, I was gonna say, I just because we were looking at that other movie, I'm like, you could get Jack Black to play Bunt, <laughs> but it, just have him be yeah. Butt though. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is it a comedy? Are we going I, comedy? Whoa! I would. <laughs> hey, if it's me, I would do comedy horror. Comedy horror. Yeah, okay. I think I think horror comedy can like it can it can really fucking work out. Hmm. Like uh, Tucker and Dale versus Evil. Yeah, great horror comedy. I don't see it as being that silly though. But I guess we could go that route. What Pumpkinhead? Yeah, yeah. No, he can be genuine, just like uh the the monster in fucking Ernest Scared Stupid is a real monster. Like eats yeah. the souls of children and puts them in little wooden dolls or whatever the fuck it does. I don't remember. Mm. Uh, but I remember the monster being like it's a little silly looking with his big nose, but he is still a monster, tried and true, just like Pumpkinhead would be in this scenario. It would be a vicious, dangerous fucking monster. Yeah. <clears throat> How do you feel about uh, Rebecca Ferguson? Rebecca Fer, you got pick, you got picks, you got picks. Do you have one with her face? Just kidding. But <laughs> hey, <laughs> no, I like Rebecca got Ferguson. You. She could maybe play uh, one of the ladies. 
Yeah. Uh, um, boy, the motives of characters are not super clear. In the, in yeah. This. Right. It's like, wait, what are they? Yeah. Why are they doing this? They're just again? like, I want to summon Pumpkinhead because 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 that, that the guy's doctor. the doctor's. He's not he's being a real big old meanie. He's not cremating people. He's just cutting people up and selling body parts on the black market. Yeah. Maybe just fucking have him arrested. <laughs> move yeah. it over. No, yeah, instead kidding. of... <laughs> right. <laughs> just move over to the next town. Don't go to him anymore, you know? <laughs> Tell your friends. Um, I'm trying to think. I mean, the honestly, the witch lady, the old... old she looked pretty oh. good. I mean, I think you probably keep her. Uh, you keep her, I think, yeah. She, yeah. There was, a, there was a creepiness factor there. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, 100%. Or... Or... Or you get fucking... Oh, help me out. What's her name? Creepiest looking lady. Um... Tilda Swinton. Boom. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> Savage. Just get Tilda Swinton. You still get all the all the makeup and stuff. Put, yeah. that, put that fucking wild prosthesis on her. <laughs> uh, but just it being Tilda Swinton, you'd be like, something's a little more off. You know, I don't know what it is. Damn. I fucking love Tilda Swinton, dude. She's she is great. awesome, yeah. but she is, like, very unique looking. Just like uh, fucking, we were talking about Matt Smith. <laughs> oh, Yeah. <laughs> We'll we'll talk we'll, about yeah, we'll, we'll get talk about yeah, Matt Smith yeah, here yeah, in a minute for sure. Um, <laughs> yeah, just some of the side characters, honestly. Like, um, I'll pull it up real quick. Molly Sue, like replace Molly Sue. Yeah, she was the one that had that real thick accent, right? Uh, no, wait. Yeah, I think yeah, that was the blonde. That was yeah, the blonde. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Replace her. She was bad. Yeah, she was bad. A uh, little too much. Um, the other chicks, not bad. You get fucking what's her name from. Fucking Parks and Rec. Oh my god! For the uh, the meth, the, the chick that was hooked on meth. Wait, who? Uh, the you know who I'm fucking talking about. What's her name? Um, shit, I'm gonna try. I gotta, I'm gonna have is to she look is it she up. a series regular or is she just like a no, cameo? She's, she's the fucking Ron Swanson secretary or whatever. Uh, Aubrey Plaza. Aubrey Plaza. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Her is the meth head, is yeah, that what like, you said? Like, yeah, like the gothy, gothy meth girl. That would be funny, right? <laughs> so her and, and Jack Black and who else? Are we, who else are we fucking cramming? <laughs> Tilda Swinton. Tilda Swinton's <laughs> funny. I don't witch. give a fuck what anybody says. Tilda Swinton's hilarious. She is, yeah. Um, Stephen Lang is the doctor. <laughs> Stephen Lang is the doctor. Yep. But I like to think of that as a serious role. Like, I don't know. You don't get a lot of comedy from that. You could get a you could get a bit from him, maybe. A bit of comedy? Yeah, I think he's gonna maybe we'll do a little bit. How do you feel about the story? Are you gonna keep it keep Vegas it the same? Fuck. <laughs> yeah, sort of. I guess uh I guess it would rely probably more heavily on the characters themselves. Yeah. As opposed to There was just so much uh I don't know, like I said in the middle there, it kinda lagged. And I felt like it needed a punch up somewhere in there. Yeah. For sure. Maybe more pumpkin head i don't know that's what i'm saying so it's like if it were a comedy that'd be a nice place for some comic relief yeah right do you know what i mean but because it's not it you kind of have to fill it with exposition because it's kind of hard to tell who's on what's yeah who's on whose team exactly they're it's kind of like we all want to stop this monster but, but we have different motives. <laughs> we, yeah, we all have different, but we're all, yeah, very different. <laughs> like, at the beginning of the movie, you're like, okay, these are the bad guys, right? They're sinister. They're cutting up a human body. These are the bad guys. And then later, mm-hmm. you're like, are they, though? Are they? <laughs> um, I mean, what they're doing is illegal, certainly. But, I mean, yeah. is it that bad? It's a bit of a gray area there. Yeah. Well, yeah, unusual. You need a punch up for the, the the characters, for sure. Yeah. More character development. I think if they're just funny, that does half the work. Yeah. Will Ferrell's the sheriff. (laughs) I like that. You know? (laughs) And his deputies, (laughs) fucking Marky Mark. (laughs) Oh, I thought you were going to say. No, because Marky Mark gets killed like straight away in that. No, I thought you were going to say Clifton. uh... (laughs) Clifton Collins Jr. (laughs) Because we always put him in. (laughs) That would actually be better. Yeah. Clifton Collins Jr. (laughs) Oh god, that's fun! Oh man, yeah, we can make this fun. Yeah, I like yeah, it. I think it would be because uh, Pumpkinhead still it's gonna be terrifying. Like it just has to be a weird, gross monster that fucking mm-hmm. you can't stop. You maybe shoot. more slime, maybe more slime. Yeah, I'm thinking slimier, yeah. slimier. Yeah. yeah, I like that. Yeah, I like it too. More seeds, maybe pumpkin seeds. <laughs> uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? You like you fuck with pumpkin seeds? 
Um, I don't care for her. Alicia fucking loves they're her. Right. Yeah? Yeah. They're yeah. right. We, had a, we normally will, uh, we didn't this year, our fucking garden just kind of got away from us. Um, but normally we'll do pumpkins specifically for pumpkin seeds and mm. make some puree, make some pies and shit. Oh, nice. I love me pumpkin pie. I don't really dig pumpkin pie a whole lot. I know that's kind of a, yeah. I know that's kind of a strong take. Well, you know, um, I love it. I love a, I love a, I don't mind the canned pumpkin pie, but I really prefer the, the, the homemade. The homemade, yeah. Yeah, that's made out of actual it's, pumpkin. Yeah, I was going to say it's much better. Definitely yeah. a, a difference there. Whipped cream on there. Mm. Yeah. I, you know, every now and then I'll get a little, down with it. A little sprinkle of cinnamon. Sim- <laughs> this is a little bit of cinnamon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's the old broccoli family recipe. <laughs> anyway, uh, how many thumbs you give it? All right. Let's, let's, um, hmm. What are we going to, what are our thumbs this time? I mean, are they, I feel like they've got to be pumpkin, pumpkin head heads. Pumpkin heads. <laughs> or like little, little tiny baggies of meth. <laughs> little teeny tiny. Um, we just do pumpkin heads, or what about hmm, those t- that tail? If every thumb was that, oh yeah, that xenomorph that, knockoff that, tail. Yeah, okay, yeah. If you had fucking, that, you'd have some sick fingers. Let me grab this beer. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> I punctured it. <laughs> Not again. Every time. All right, I'm gonna probably go eight on this. I had a lot of fun. Eight pack. I'm gonna go, yeah, I'm gonna go eight pack. I, that sounds pretty good to me. Actually, I think, I'm, I think I'm gonna stick right there with you. It's not. Um, there are some movies that are, that would beat this out simply because they're so fucking absurd. Mm-hmm. And this is a very, this is a very tropey, common creature feature. But I, I like the creature and. Uh, Pepper in a little comedy in here because yeah. just you know you're 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 not getting top shelf acting so like, you're not a lot of the I can a lot of a, the I can tell a joke you know yeah a lot of the moments where we were you know cracking up it just comes from silly character decisions or yeah you know, just silly moments not supposed to be funny no they're not they they're are. not meant to I mean, be funny but they kind of are because they're short of the mark or whatever uh, yeah pretty good I thought though yeah what um what you watching oh shit. Hey, what you watching? What you watching? So, as you know, I finished House of the Dragooning. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking House of the Dragoon all over the place. House of the Wagon. House of the Wagon. <laughs> Featuring, uh, what was it? <laughs> Chris Pratt. Chris Pratt yeah. as the wagon. Starring Chris Pratt as the wagon. And Mia Goth as wagon number two. <laughs> That's right. James! James! Oh, fuck. Uh, uh, yeah, no, so... House of the Dragon. What, you, what, I, what are you thinking? I liked it a lot, man. Yeah? I, I told you right when I first started watching it, I was like, I like how focused this is, how much more focused this is than Game of Thrones, because it's really just, it's just kind of straightforward. I only watched like a, a season and a couple of episodes of Game of Thrones, and what I found was that... I was struggling to, I would see somebody in episode four and be like, I haven't seen them since episode one. It's bloated. Who is this again? I know, I, uh, I loved most of Game of Thrones, but it is bloated. And this feels, there's, buddy. It's just. You got fucking Rhaenyra. Mm-hmm. You got Alicent. Alicent. I like her name. Alicent uh, Hightower. Hightower. Yeah, what a, what a cool name. Fuck. Fuck. Yeah, it is a cool, a cool fucking name. And also, um, Olivia <laughs> Uh, Olivia Cook, is that right? Yeah, Olivia Cook. She's just great, man. Yeah, she's she just is. she's fucking intense. Man. Um, and then what's... she's a horrible singer. You remember when she's in the Sound is of she... Metal? <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> fuck! How could I forget? Oh yeah, she's great, man. Yeah, it's um, those fucking blonde, like bleach blonde eyebrows. Fucking ain't yeah, doing her a favor. She throws she it. Looks unrecognizable. What's the other girl's name? Um, Rhaenyra's. Uh, Emma, I don't know how to say her name. It's like, is it oh, just fuck. Emma Darcy? Or yeah, the, I think it's uh, just, might be Darcy. Darcy. I don't Emma. know. I don't know how to say. She's it. She's fucking awesome. She's intense, man. Um, I like the way that they they made young Rhaenyra. Rhaen, I always fuck it up. It's is Rhaenyra. It Rhaenyra. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Rhaenyra. 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 Young Rhaenyra's look to her, like. Her grown up. It's good casting. It's good. It's good casting, man, yeah. for sure. 
Um, I thought it was kind of weird how Sir Kristen Cole never changed. <laughs> like they used the same actor for him. I'm like, yeah, it almost kind of doesn't work. Yeah. He just kind of he doesn't it doesn't look like he gets any older. No, could so, put a little gray in his hair or something. Yeah, you know. But man, overall, just a fantastic series so far. Um, just dragons look good. Yeah, I was gonna say that was gonna be my next thing is like, how are you feeling about the the <sighs> dragon to non dragon ratio? Cause, I mean, uh, it looks good. Makes me want to fucking dragging my nuts all over the place. <laughs> like, I fucking love it. It's fucking fun, man. The dragons um, are dope. I like yeah. the I like the way, and I don't know if this is part of anything in game of thrones but i I like the way that they're all scaled Mm -hmm. like the older like vagar is fucking enormous vagar's looks good too it's yeah 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 it just looks like a fucking old ass mean lizard dog yeah with wings the size of fucking 97 dodge caravans (laughs) (laughs) um i gotta mention the acting just all across the board. One of my favorites is uh, Matthew Needham or Needham. I'm not sure. He plays uh, Clubfoot Laris. Oh, nice. Man, yeah, he, he's good. I feel like his performance is just fucking phenomenal. I like, uh, I really liked, um, ah, uh, fuck. Uh, oh. Viserys. Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, pa- uh, pa- Patty Constantine. Patty Constant. His performance, Constantine. dude. Yeah, he's great. He is the king. Like, he's fucking phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and then uh, Matt Smith. How do you feel about Matt Smith in this? I feel like <laughs> I feel like he's perfect for it. Yeah. Um, Matt Smith. A lot of times, I guess, because of his performance in Doctor Who, mm-hmm. uh, he got like you know, kind of like leading man roles or whatever. I don't like him for that. I like him as a fucking he's kind of a villainous, yeah. self-serving. Uh, I like him as that. Mm-hmm. Uh, he plays that part really well. It suits him. Yeah, yeah. as I'm saying, it suits him. Have, it, did you watch uh, Last Night in Soho? No. Oh, you okay. told me. I'm, he's, I've, it's he's on the a, list. He's a villainous type in that. Okay. Uh, very good. Very good. Yeah. Um, Who else? Um, lots of good performances in this, for sure. Um, would you like the bit when... This is a bit of a spoiler for House of the Dragon. I think this is my favorite part of season two, when they get all those pedestrians and they're like we're gonna go see who's gonna who's gonna who the dragon will choose oh yeah and it just fucking just, murders all those yeah, people because they're not of right the right uh or not enough blood, of the, i guess not, not enough of the the royal the targaryen blood, blood. Yeah. yeah man and when they do find riders like new riders yeah. it's fucking cool man it's just it, it's weird because i looked at i and i know imdb reviews don't mean shit Mm-hmm. But like a couple of the episodes in season two, particularly the the, uh, the finale, got lower scores, and I'm like, I thought it was great. Like I did too. Yeah, I, I wanted. I wanted. It left me wanting more, and now it's a shame I have to wait like two, three two years, years for the next season yeah. or whatever. Um, I wonder if one of the episodes that got lower reviews was whenever uh, Rhaenyra kisses um, the white worm. The white worm. Yeah. Uh, Sonoya Mizuno, or however you say her name. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The other woman, the her, you know. Why? She was like, she was, did some, she did like hand stuff or whatever with fucking, what's her name? When they was, when they were young, right? Hand stuff. Didn't that happen? Did they? Yeah, I thought they like made out and were like, ooh. Ooh. Honka honka. <laughs> honka honka. <laughs> Ooga, you know. <laughs> whatever, whatever ladies do, I don't know. <laughs> Uh, I think I mentioned this to you. <laughs> You're fucking stupid. Yeah, that's part of it, though. I'm pretty sure, right? I can't remember honestly. Then it was I like, guess that it was escapes like, me. Because because fucking Rhaenyra banged her uncle, and then he fucked off, mm-hmm. and then she was like trying to get handsy with fucking Alicent, and then she got sent away. I don't remember that. She got she uh, Rhaenyra ended up sleeping with Kristen Sir Kristen Cole, mm-hmm. but I guess I don't remember what you're referring to. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe it happened. Maybe it didn't. Could have been part of something else I watched. Uh, maybe. You never know. Anyways, yeah. Uh, can't wait for the next season. What else have I been watching? What uh, have you been watching? Oh, I finished Uh, I finished playing Dying Light 2. That was pretty good. Oh, uh, so I'd like to play something. I played a mobile game. Yeah. Um, did, You're still playing Prince of Persia, right? 
Or... I am, yeah. Yeah, I am. I got to a part where I am stuck in a boss fight, and mm. I am having trouble proceeding, and I'm like, I probably just need to look up a walkthrough, because I've already gone back through the map and fucking... You got a bunch of collect... Or, like, got an... have you upgraded everything? Or uh, as yeah. much as you can, probably? I've upgraded everything as much as I can. Yeah. I'm like, it, I... And I've spent... I don't think there's enough resources for me to warrant going back through the map for, again, a third time. Mm. Because I can't get to anything else. Yeah, because, like, there's certain abilities that unlock new areas. Yeah, Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's like you have to wait till you get the skill and Mm -hmm. then go fucking use it. Yeah. Um, Fun game. Super fun game. Yeah, I really love the the platforming uh, bit of it. Are you talking about Dying Light? No, I was still referring to... uh, Prince of Persia. Dying Light 2, it was fun. Um, I felt like the story kind of lacked a little bit, but the, the gameplay was great. Um, just, I think I mentioned the parkour when we were doing the Black Label episode. Oh, yeah. Parkour is just fucking phenomenal, man. Just running around the cities, jumping from building to building, and That's like cool. landing on the zombies to kill them and shit. Like, it's, Dude, it's super fun. I would like a zombie uh, version of Spider Man. Yeah. That'd be pretty dope. I think, I think. We need a little bit of a break from the zombie games, but... No, I'm talking about just like a DLC for Spider-Man. Oh, like a DLC. Yeah, yeah. like an add-on. That'd be yeah. kind of fun, yeah. Or for Spider-Man 2, you know mm-hmm. what I mean? Just fucking... Because there, there is a zombie apocalypse Marvel universe where okay. Spider-Man has turned into a zombie. I didn't know that. Yeah, Interesting. There. Yeah. Maybe they'll do that at some point. Maybe. That could be like a cool DLC for sure. Uh, you've been you've been watching or playing anything else? Uh, I played a mobile game called Necro Merger, uh, where you just like, oh, you tap a gravestone to get bones. You turn those bones into a rib cage. Takes two rib cages to make a skeleton man. <laughs> Take two skeleton mans to make a skeleton archer. The bones are made <laughs> of money. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I think you should leave. <laughs> what was all that bone stuff? <laughs> <laughs> What's all that bone stuff? <laughs> oh god. Uh no, it's just a stupid fucking tap game to kill time. Yeah. Um now I have not played anything, man. I've been doing a lot of a lot of other extracurricular fucking activities around the house and shit. But um man, I did watch something recently though. I watched Oh, I watched uh the new season of The Umbrella Academy. Oh, okay. I heard the newest season was terrible or I liked it. Yeah, oh, okay. I did. I did hear somebody else like really beating up on it. I just like, dude, it's so or maybe fucking, the last season. I don't remember. It's so. I think. I think some people that watch it watch it because they are a fan of the comic book or like a big fan of Gerard Way, and then they watch the show and they're like, "Well, this isn't the same as the other thing." It's not. It's totally different. Hmm. Me not knowing really anything about the comic book. I'm fine with it being whatever. Yeah. But for four seasons, at the end of every season, the world is ending. And then they figure out a way out of it or into Mm. a different timeline or fucking whatever is going to happen. But they're just, they're all fuck ups. You know what I mean? All of them all. They're horrible people. (laughs) Uh, And they have, they have different various, like really impressive powers. Uh, and it is, uh, just a good, a good fun show. Like one of them's a fucking addict, but he can't die, but he's like, sees dead people. He can like commune with the dead. So he's like on fucking heroin and meth and shit all the time. And he ODs and just comes right Damn. back to life. He's just a fucking mess. Huh. Um, but yeah, they all have these weird, uh, unique quirks about him. It makes for good, uh, for good story. Nice. I just started like literally just started, um, silo on Apple TV silo. So it is a new, well, I guess it came out last year. TV well, let me series. Tell you, they ain't storing corn in that thing. <laughs> oh no. They're storing people. Uh, it's based on the book series, uh, the Silo series. You've okay. heard me talk about that by Hugh Howey. Oh, yeah. Where, I remember the name, yeah. yeah I didn't remember it. Silo series. The, the first one's called Wool, the first oh, book. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, wool, Dust, and then, uh, fuck, I forget the third book. But anyways, um, pretty good book series. Uh, if you dig, like, uh, I guess, dystopian kind of sci-fi, not super, It like, they're easy books to read. Um, and just decent story. So they did the TV series. Uh, I think season two starts in November, but I just started it. I'm the only thing is it has common in it. And I don't really like common as an actor. Mm. I don't think he's a very good actor. So I'm like, yeah, is he going to make me fucking just go crazy with his? I don't know. I just, yeah, with his shtick. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Uh, it does have Tim Robbins in it, though, who hey. I, I really like. Nice. Um, and then the reason I suggested Re- uh, Rebecca Ferguson, Ferguson, she's in it as well. Uh, so I just started that. I'll report back on that. Oh. Uh, oh, I have been reading House of Leaves. Buddy. What's up, what's up with House of what Leaves? What a book. Have you ever heard of it? Know I... anything about it? Mm-mm. Fuck. Trying to explain it is like me doing math. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's like a story within a story. Huh, okay. So it is... Okay, essentially, see if I can run this down real quick. A guy... Finds a book written by his friend's neighbor who passes away. He finds this book. The book is about the book is about a documentary that exists about a house that this family moves into that is much larger on the inside than it is on the outside. Like you, they found they found a hallway, and the hallway goes on for a mile. And then they find a staircase, and the staircase the staircase goes down for seven miles. What? And they st- yeah, they start exploring it and shit, and it's just, it's fucking wild, dude. So you get like commentary from the guy that found the book, and then you're reading the book with the guy. Yeah, it's just, it's, yeah. Okay, that sounds cool. It's such a mind fuck, though. Um, yeah, it's it's really good so far. Hmm. Really, okay. it's 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 kind of a cult classic. House of Beeves. House of Beeves. <laughs> That's it. It's about it's about cattle. <laughs> they finally get to the basement of the house. A bunch of cows. Down Just a there. bunch of cows. Yeah. <laughs> they, they won't surprise. Go da- surprise. Yeah, they won't go downstairs though. So you're fucked. <laughs> They're stuck in there. Um, other than that, man, I think that's about it. We, you know, football season's back, so watching a lot of football. How about you? You. Watch anything else, dude? Uh, or, didn't you guys go to the movies recently? Or no? oh yeah, I saw Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. Yeah, yeah. How was that? It's all right. Is all right. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, didn't blow me away. Okay, a uh, bit of nostalgia. Uh, not. I, I wanted. Um, there's a bit in the first one where Michael Keaton turns into this like uh, claymation snake version with his head hmm. on it or whatever. And I, that's one of the aspects I always loved about Tim Burton's films is he would do something like z- just zany. Yeah. Like that's cr- like this dude, he's like, hey, we're here for your daughter, Chuck. And then he's a giant fucking stop motion <laughs> animation worm. Like uh, it was cool. Huh. Um, there's not a, a lot of that in this. Uh, Willem Dafoe is in it. Okay. And I like his character. He plays kind of a, a slick actor from like the 50s uh, who thinks he's a detective. Hmm. But he he is just an actor. Uh, that's a bit of fun. He's like you know, running down the case and trying to solve the mystery or whatever. Because there's, you know, spoiler stuff. Spoiler but, stuff. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was all right. Uh, didn't didn't blow my doors off. But you know what? I didn't fucking hate it. Yeah. And I was afraid that I was going to. Hmm. Who else was in it? Oh gosh. Um. Let's see here. Well, um. Michael Keaton, Winona Ryder. Uh, that girl that plays Wednesday. What is her name? Oh yeah. Um. Uh. uh Fuck. It's like right on the tip of my tongue. Jenna Ortega. Jenna Ortega. Thank you. Um. Yeah, Willem Dafoe and. Fuck, I can't. Willem remember. Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, here we go. Just pull up the fucking cast since I can't remember anybody's fucking name. Uh, Monica Bellucci. Okay. Yeah, that's who I could not recall. Oh, I almost forgot. We watched. Oh, and uh, Justin Thoreau. <laughs> oh, nice. Love yeah. Justin Thoreau. <laughs> He's pretty funny in it too. Uh, we watched uh the Instigators. We might have talked about that a the briefly. The Instigators. With yeah. I Matt Damon. Have. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, Cassie, <laughs> Casey Affleck. Uh, Hong Chow is in it. Yep. I yep. liked it. it. I thought it was super fun. I liked it too. Yeah, you're yeah. right. It is a good... It's nice to see Matt Damon play. He's kind of a dumbass. Yeah. A little bit. Like, he's... Yeah. He's not Jason Bourne. Let's he's just... not Jason. You and it's I mean? nice to see that. And then Casey Affleck is just fucking hilarious in it. Uh, yeah. Just a just a fun film. Um, got Michael Stolberg or Stolberg, however the fuck you say his name. Alfred, Alfred Molina. Yeah. Um. Yeah, we we enjoyed it quite a bit. I love fucking seeing Alfred Molina in anything yeah, since, right. since we watched that fucking Texas Rangers movie or whatever. It was. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that 
That's what a trip that crazy. was. Dude. Oh man. I think that's about it. Uh, yeah. That's all I got, man. That's about I, all I got. I just I've been I've been choring too much to mm. to fucking get away with watch. I started watching uh, Baruto. It's like the Baruto. the sequel oh, the, series to Naruto. And gotcha. Um, I don't know, it's all right. It's all right. I'll talk about it at a later date if it gets better, or cool. we'll stop watching it. So we'll right. see. Um, yeah. Thank you for tuning in. Tell like a thousand of your friends and Fuck yeah. um, tell your grandma. Yeah. Chuck in a buck if you want. You can get us on Patreon. I think it's four dollars for episodes of Black Label. Like. <laughs> <laughs> fart to six weeks early uh episodes of this podcast up to uh two to four weeks early um yeah or you can always buy us coffee at buymecoffee.com if you don't want to do a long-term relationship it's okay. <laughs> right uh but we're gonna go ahead and get out of here have yourself a good night and put your pecker away you guys aren't gonna start sucking each other's dicks are you let's go let's go talk we're a one-eyed fat man can i make a suggestion that doesn't involve violence or is this the wrong crowd Maybe we should call in a bomb threat to Houston. I think it's free beer night at the Astrodome. The Jedi, Bob, we don't fight with guns, we fight with the mind. Guys in business is a boomer. That is one big pile of shit. <laughs> Jail gone. It's Just Two Movies is a production of Blue Cheese and Bacon Studios and can be found wherever you get your podcasts. All right, special thanks for the people who helped make this show. That is going to be uh, Rustafari, God Sized and Growing, and Sons for our music, uh, Lamplighter Productions for our artwork. Oh, yeah, I definitely want to throw out a thanks to Dave, who takes care of our YouTube platform, and uh, Justin, who has started doing our TikTok. Uh, you can find us on TikTok at Just Two Movies Pod. Yeah, so hit us up on socials and uh, tell your friends and leave us a like if you could. That's the show. <sighs> Just a big fat wet queef. (laughs) 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 Oh, had a little air trapped. Excuse me.